Hello and welcome to my channel. Oh boy. Here comes the genderbent Surter. Sessa is a 5-star AoE sniper and this archetype specializes in dealing AoE physical damage. Operators from this archetype boasts a long range and a high attack stat, along with an equally high DP cost and slow attack speed. Looking at his other stats, Sessa is pretty average among the AoE snipers, nothing noteworthy here. Moving on to his talent, all blocked enemies take extra physical damage, a relatively simple talent, the damage scaling isn't that high but it's still a decent addition. The main drawback of this talent is the fact that the enemies have to be blocked. This means ranged operators will only benefit from this talent if melee operators are blocking the enemies. Next up are his skills. Sess's first skill is your generic attack up skill. The attack buff from this skill is pretty high and paired with his already decent base attack. His damage output can shred just about any low to mid defense enemies in a few shots. However, this skill doesn't offer anything unique and irreplaceable, so I'd say it's not a good idea to invest in this skill at all. Sessa's second skill is what makes him interesting. When activated, Sessa's attack turn into launching grenades that explodes after a short delay, dealing a big burst of physical damage and decreasing the enemy's attack speed for 3 seconds. Sessa is one of the few operators capable of decreasing the enemy's attack speed. However, he also inflicts the lowest attack speed debuff out of all of them, it is clear that this skill doesn't focus too much on the supporting capabilities, so what about his damage, when compared to Meteorite, another operator from the same archetype and rarity, their damage are extremely similar to one another, not too bad, right? Well, not really, this is taking into account that Sessa lands every shot, due to the delay from his grenades, fast moving enemies can easily outrun the range, making Sessa miss his shot, there's this gif of him missing every shot he does and it's pretty hilarious, every missed shot is a drop in total skill DPS, though this can be easily countered by using a melee operator to stop the enemies from moving, this skill has an average SP cost and good duration. Now, if you think this video is helpful, do give my channel a sub to show your support. Lastly, we have his module, the first stage adds a new trait that increases his damage against blocked enemies and the other stages improves his talent scaling. The damage increase from his module is not worth the materials, all in all, not the best module to invest in. So, should you pull and build Sessa? To be perfectly honest, the answer is no, as uncommon as attack speed debuff is. It's not a game-changing debuff and operators like Promonix are much better in applying it. Looking at his damage, Sessa can deal decent damage, but against tougher enemies, his damage falls short, plus his ability to miss his shots can seriously impact his damage output, that being said, he is one of the few male operators in the game, plus his Japanese voice actor voices Higashikata Josuke from Jojo, so if you are interested in any of these, go ahead and pull for him, otherwise, it's better to save your materials for another operator, sorry Sessa. And that is all for this operator guide, I will be making similar videos in the future so do consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.